now I'm walking up the historic Music Row, which is home to a lot of the recording studios, record labels, publishing houses in town. A lot of them have moved to more commercial buildings recently, but back in the day, this is where they all were. I remember when I first moved to town, I would walk these streets every single Sunday morning to just feel nostalgic, feeling like I was gonna take over the entire town. It was just the most inspiring feeling in the whole world. So, I'm gonna show you around Music Row. walking up to Ocean Way Studios. This place is insane, y'all. I've been in a few times and I'm blown away every time. Everybody from Matchbox 20 to Alan Jackson to Etta James, Avril Lavigne, Kelly Clarkson, you name it, they have recorded at this studio. It's actually an old church and it's right in the heart of Music Row. <laughs> Dumbrian, besides Broadway, this is a huge tourist destination as far as bars go. You can get drunk at Tin Roof and then get rehydrated at the Vita Flow. A lot of the country music artists hang out here, so if you're wanting to spot one, you have a good shot, especially up here at Dog House. I'm not sure how many of these are actually open during COVID-19 time, but it's the spot to go for show. Ooh, that rhyme. the Nissan Stadium. I'm also going to play there someday. The pedestrian bridge. It's very peaceful. It overlooks the Cumberland River. Great place to come and just escape the craziness of Broadway that is just right there. <laughs> right now I'm standing on the Nashville Pedestrian Bridge, which overlooks the Cumberland. The most beautiful view of the Nashville skyline, which is changing every day, let me just tell you. But what a beautiful view. I love you, Nashville. 